Exactly. So I told it. She's so stupid. I mean, I think they helped me out, but not. I feel kind of insulted. Like they all call him an idiot. Just like Karina defense. They all call it the Bakarina defense. He's way too stupid to be a bad guy. He will kill everyone. Here we go. If you don't love this, if you don't f this guy, you better smash him or kill everyone. He looks so. Look at him. He's so evil. Look at his face. How could I forget about the evil secret path? Yeah. Uh oh. So hello everyone. What here? Cover to Katarina Sama. Of course, Bakarina Hamafura. You know, absolute. You know, number one is the guy. You know, I much love Katarina. Right? And this image, of course, I did last week. I really love the Katarina <laughs> eggplant suit. And I'm like, um, okay. So she has like sleepover with her four girlfriends. And she just up as an eggplant. I'm just like, I can't be the only one. Like, I see the innuendos here. The innuendos of the main girl with her horn there sleeping together. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that was a good episode. And of course, it reminded me a lot of Kyoko, right? Best girl in Yuru Yuri, right? Um, I, even, I even named my monk even walking after the Kyoko. She's a Kyoko girl. <laughs> Looking like Kyoko. So, so yeah, so Ky I love Kyoko, right? And there's, of course, a tomato scene. I mean, it's the exact same suit, which is purple, right? So. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, that's the one thing for this episode. You can find my two latest reactions, link below for that one. Uh, this is on Twitch, right? You can find a full reaction on Twitch and link below for uh, the edited version, right? So there's like two versions and I did it like a short, quick edit of it. Use the best scenes, right? So you get the best moments and so on. Uh, but anyway, let's start watching, of course, Katarina Sama, Katarina episode 10. And, uh, you know, see what happens, right, with the whole horror as well. <laughs> it's like, oh, she has... Okay, one more thing before it was episode. That Anne, of course, Anne's also love with her. The God, you know, every... I'm, I'm waiting for her mom to be like, Katarina. Yeah, like, damn it. Every every damn character is basically love with her. That's, that's how it is. So, three, two, one, and go. Yeah, and also evil... The other evil girls. Supposed to be your friends. Yeah, in the original story, this is a, this evil, this me, and this are actually the evil girls, right? These are her actual evil. What, Nanda? But I am... Do you mean when I attack people with snakes? Or do you mean when I do the ground thing? Or do you mean when I do the monkey shit? You are flaunt. I mean, this girl is supposed to be her friend, right? In, you know, the original game. This is one of her, you know, evil uh, characters, yeah. So she's just playing like she was evil. <laughs> but she's clearly the new queen bitch here, she isn't the... THESE ALL SOUNDS VERY FAMILIAR! THIS IS THE GAME! <laughs> this is supposed to be what I am supposed to say in the game! No! But I did everything to avoid that flags! Yeah, DOOM ENDING! Here we go, it's truly a DOOM ENDING now, yeah! But, but I did everything! Yeah, it was the actual characters, the name characters. Oh, a lot of blood characters. A lot of blood characters, yeah. Mm. It's like, way. Huh? This is a part of the game? <laughs> Not for the playing dumb. They can't say to get Arena, a back Arena is all dumb. Oh, it's all fake. Oh, there's no way that her best girl, Maria, is her, you know, cookie girlfriend. Yeah. Huh? I oh, know, yeah, it's like, what? All lies, clearly. It's all evil lies. Here we go. I'm gonna be saved by her, her harem. Her harem is gonna come and save her, right? Yeah. He's gonna do so much! He's like, all lies. <laughs> but obviously, Maria can you say it's a lie because she is the one who claimed she bullied. So, it's like a really stupid lie because. But, but Bakarina, they love you, Bakarina. They all wanna sleep with you, so it's not gonna happen now. You're gonna be like, we're gonna be like, no, 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 this is our girlfriend, we all love her, so. Do, 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 I feel your plan is pretty stupid, right? As it, as it's based on, okay, Katarina is bullying Maria. But Maria is still, she's like, ah, Katarina Sama, at least, you know, she's less tertiary than Mary, but she's still tertiary for her, so. There's no way that Maria won't, um, you know, help her out, right? Um, there's no way. For that matter, I just beat Persona 5 yesterday. Uh, yeah, I beat the game finally yesterday. And I will say this thing, 
not to spoil too much, but the last scene in that game, rough right this scene because it's a, it's a nice scene where you have a harem in that game too, right? And the, the, all the harem characters appear so like, we're gonna defend our boyfriend. <laughs> so it's a nice scene where they are like, they're gonna defend you and they are gonna like get the different, using the connections and so on to like defend your honor. So it's like a nice, uh, you know, love scene there where everyone is like coming together to protect you. Yeah, so. That's why you have a horn, right? <laughs> so they can be your alibi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the dark horse. And now, do, 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 <laughs> yeah, back to Castle Katarina. They're like, how do we survive this shit? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, that's what we do. It's tough to be a farmer. But if we, we can be a farmer, do we have torch stick? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I have prepared my snake for this shit. And this girl is like, I'm gonna use my freaking gardening skills. But obviously, Maria loves her, so there's no way she's gonna tell them that it's right. Their plan is really stupid because it relies on Maria not defending her. And why would she not defend her? Yeah, I mean, they know she likes her, even though they don't know her how much she likes. Yeah, it's a bit rubbish. I mean, why would they, why would she, why would she not help them out? Yeah, and they should know that, they should know that she's always hanging out with her, always you know, eating cookies and, you know, having sleepovers, which is very, like, in and for sex and so on, yeah. They should know this shit. Yeah, it's just so, <laughs> they're pretty bad bad guys. Without having Katarina there, you can't be good bad guys, right? <laughs> my sister is too much of a baka, yeah. Oh, she's too stupid to be a bad guy there. Have you ever seen my niece, son? Huh? She's an idiot. She can't plan out bad shit. <laughs> They're all gonna be like, she's too stupid to do this stuff. Saggy, she's too far to be minded. She's... That's right! She's really stupid! <laughs> yeah, they all, it's like... She is really, really stupid. There's no way she would do it. She's a dumb... <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Katarina Sama isn't that clever. Exactly, Sora Tori, she's too stupid. I mean, I think they're helping me out, but not. I feel kind of insulted. Like, they're all calling me an idiot. Yeah, it's like. And now there's some random other girls. It's like, yeah, that's right. You know, Katarina's a nice girl. <laughs> but now they're all like, she's too stupid to do this. <laughs> she's way too stupid. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, Baccarina, you know, the Bacar the Baccarina defense. No, I call it the Baccarina defense. She's way too stupid to be a bad guy. She could never be a bad guy. <laughs> but yeah. Their plan seems really dumb though, because obviously they know that Maria was saved by her in this universe. I mean those girls know that she saved her twice, so in front of them, right? So they, they obviously know that Maria wouldn't and there's no reason for Maria to actually Oh look at that, the darkness, yeah. The only Maria can see, remember that. As we saw in the cave, right, only Maria can see the darkness because she's the light power, so. Yeah, but you all call me idiots. <laughs> I hope she's gonna be like, you all call me idiots, though. Nissan? He's like, eh. Yes. I survived the doom event. One. I have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Time for cookies. <laughs> and they are all like reading notes. And she's like, ah, cookies? I got cookies? Oh, life is good again. Her true enemy, Debbie, is back. Yeah. And <laughs> just, just keeps eating. <laughs> just keeps eating. <laughs> I feel you don't have to carry her. She's that kind of character in your team that just keeps eating and she's just a sexy character. She's just a trophy wife. Yes, it's everyone's trophy wife. She just keeps her eating, looking all hot and attractive and they're all like, let's protect our little trophy wife. Look at her. Yeah, look at her. She's just like, yay, I have my horror saving me. Oh, yeah. I know don't fix that anymore. <laughs> yeah, she just, I survived. <laughs> Here we go. No more flags. No more shitty flags. I did it. I survived! Yeah, but Maria is like, no, I've seen the truth. Exactly, how can you be so damn relaxed? It's like, ah, come on! The flag! I'm the flag smasher! <laughs> I steal the flags and I smash flags! Oh man, that looks really dark. 
Yeah, that looks really, really dark. So again, right, Maria with her light power is the only one that can actually see it. That's why she's, why she keeps being, you know, like... Unfortunately, she plays it really wrong here. This is a classic horror trope thing. She's like, I can see evil over there, but I won't tell anyone. Yeah, I feel she's doing the typical issue here, right? When she sees someone being really, like, that over there, it's clearly some kind of demon or something, I'm gonna fight it myself. Instead of, I don't know, telling them what it was, I'm quite it. And you know, remember, they all have magic, right? They all have some kind of royal magic. Because the key to the earth makes all right. And Katarina has, you know, earth bump. But they have magic, right? And instead of bringing her magic team with her, she's like, I have to fight it myself. <laughs> because reasons, you know, it, it's, it's very, yeah, it's very horror tropey. And now she's like, that is something, yeah. See, see, now she's gone, right? Yeah, so she's... She got killed off off screen there. Feels quite troublesome. Yeah, she, like lesson number one from an ever any horror show ever, right? Never go alone. Never go alone. Yeah, it's like never go alone. The gentle flavor. Mm. Never go alone. Never go alone. Kaisho. Kaisho. See, so yeah, I tell you, she's like oh, Kaisho. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, Moe. I was so good as always. Can you saw my earlier? Yeah, I was so good, right? Yeah, oh, it was so good. That was awesome. <laughs> the Vogue scene was the best thing. <laughs> Yosh! Here we go. Yeah, go see my girl. You know, she's clearly her best girl, right? She makes cookies as well. Yeah, she's at the she feeds cookies. She's clearly in love with her the most because her stomach is in love with her the most. Mm. But yeah, it feels like very, very tropey that she's like, oh. I sense a demon over here. I better fight it myself <laughs> instead of telling them. And not even telling them what she's gonna do either. Or at least leave like a note. Where it's like, if I don't return, this thing killed me, right? Or, you know, like, no, no, I'm just gonna. Yeah, so she's. Maria loses his life, yeah. What's this now? Information. Ah, oh, he's gonna backtrack, I guess, who wrote the papers. Yeah, someone that is not stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Poor Katarina, they're like, she's so stupid, she can't do it. The Bacarina can't, the Bacarina defense, yeah, she's too stupid to do shit. Yeah, they were being controlled by darkness. And it's not, you know, the hot darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just read it amazing. Uh, fan work <laughs> for recent purposes yesterday with, with darkness, costume and darkness. It was amazing. It was one of the best I've read in my life, and I read them all. Okay, I read every damn you know darkness uh, fan work. Like, that was amazing. It was like top three probably in the Konosuba fan work. Whatever. Back to anime. Sorry. Back to not being. <laughs> I just can't get it out of my head. It was so good. It was so damn good. I'm tired. Sorry. Yeah, so they all got like mind control. They all got like uh, mind orb. But they were even before Tilda, weren't they? They still bullied her earlier, so it wasn't like they were innocent, right? They were actually bullied. They, they were bullies, I mean, they were bullies beforehand too. Like they were, they were almost evil, right? So they weren't just like suddenly evil. They were just. I mean, yeah, they were manipulated. Oh, dark magic! Here we go! <gasps> Here we go. Yeah, which never mentioned for. He's dropping the bomb here. Well, actually, I think it's pretty obvious because you have light magic. You also have probably dark magic, right? Yeah, only a few people know about dark magic. But if you have light magic, you probably have the opposite side, right? Exactly. It's a harm power. You can still watch. Exactly. So Katarina is probably actually a dark magician because she can st she can still watch. It's a Persona thing again, it's a Persona 5 thing again, it's still the hearts, but I mean, come on, it's clearly Katarina is a dark magician, really. She's, you know, subconsciously a dark, ma a dark magician, because she keeps stealing everyone's hearts. <laughs> come on, it's, it's clearly what she's doing! And he's, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and I keep thinking Persona 5 because of the heart, right, they're stealing people's heart in the game, so. But me, why? Because you are clearly the true dark magician, she's the natural dark magician. 
<laughs> yeah, right, that's gonna happen. Be sure to not go alone. Yeah, okay, I won't go alone. It's like, yeah, right. Yeah. If I'm the target, though, I should probably go alone and fight them alone. <laughs> Come on. You know she's gonna go alone, Jesus Christ. But Karina will, will definitely go. Yeah, she has light magic, though. It's the opposite power of darkness, right? Yeah. Exactly. As we've seen in the early episode here. Only Maria can detect it. Yes, and she have told them that. I have to say that, though, that was stupid of Maria. That was stupid of her. Well, she might be dead, though. Abducted her. You haven't seen her body. So, Nabakana! Yeah. I feel it's. I have to say, I feel. I would expect it absolutely. As someone has life magic, I'd be like, oh, dark magic, you know. And also, probably like wood magic and like maybe metal magic, something like that, right? Something like Q, Q or something, yeah. Ooh, here we go. If you offer someone's life, you have to kill someone. Oh man, it's going all, you know, Fire Emblem also. Yeah, you have to get your power up by offering souls. And then if you kill Maria with a light magician user, you get even more power. And suddenly she's... <gasps> My Horem! They all been killed, I think probably dreaming, but... It's probably one of those, it's all a dream. And suddenly she wakes up in the real world again. Well, it's a bit of a dark scene now, though. She's just sitting here. But she's clearly dreaming, though. But yeah, it's like a dark scene when everyone's bodies around her, right? She's screaming. And, yeah, it's like a dark scene. But it is clearly a dream because, like, suddenly they wouldn't just kill off all the characters suddenly, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? And now she should be like, I have to fight them myself to protect my family. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like that, yeah. I promise to not go alone, but I will go alone so that they won't endanger them. She's definitely gonna go with the exact same route as Maria did and be like, oh, yeah, it's better, I better go alone. <laughs> she missed out, she didn't play the full game. She missed out on playing the dark route, yeah. The secret harem ending route. You gotta defeat the evil, right? I guess she's spending all night now researching. have the same ginkiness as usual. She's probably in the harm too now. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. This sensor here is also probably in the harm. She's like, wow, the girl. It was the cutest girl ever she's left. I love her too. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like every damn female character to be like, Katarina. <laughs> Come on. She's probably like, ooh, Katarina. Oh, here we go. Might be there. Oh, she's gonna. Yeah, I was gonna just think about Maria here. Oh, look at that sweet girl. Come on, it's a true love. She's clearly one. Come on, we, we, we all shit Maria. We all hope Maria's gonna win, right? Come on, we hope Maria's gonna be the end goal. I mean, we like either marry them all, right? Harm ending or marry Maria. Come on, that's the only two. Oh, here we go. Kaisho, Kaisho. Okay, I, I, I tried to drop it, but it's hard. When I hear someone say Kaisho, I'm like, oh my god, it's Kaisho. I gotta kick him on this guy. Hmm. Oh. I don't know why she was up at this point, but... Why isn't he in class for it? Like, why isn't she in class for it? Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> they're all be shown and yeah. We know Katarina, they're all very attractive. Yeah, oh, here we go. She's gonna remember it, finally. The hidden character, yeah! You can conquer a hidden boy! <gasps> here we go, yeah. He will kill everyone! Here we go! If you don't love this, if you don't F this guy, you better smash him or kill everyone. Yeah, so Ashton, of course, knows. She's like, 
You better smash this guy or he kills all your friends. No spoilers! She's gonna regret that! It's like, no spoilers! Exactly, told me about the secret love, the dark horse. I mean, he looks so, look at him. He's so evil, look at his face. How could I forget about the evil secret path? Yeah, uh-oh. I have an idiot. She knows herself. Serious, he named like, serious, I'm having something here. Serious Drake. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, what? Yeah, he has that, even the name is like, it's not even to me. Oh, man. He has dark magic. I have to say, from a narration standpoint, who else would be the one that like killed off Maria? Because basically, and no other character has a speeching line. Yeah, he's like the only named character left in the, the storyline. Talk about more in the view, but. Do you have dark magic? Here we go. Of course, Katarina can. Instead of telling her friends or horror about the enemy, she's like, I will fight him directly myself because I'm an idiot. Yeah, like, you're good, you're good. Staying in character. Staying in character. That's good, Katarina. Staying in character. None die. He's here lying. Come on, he's so evil. Look at him. He's lying. Maybe you're was evil now, but he's clearly evil. Come on, look at the guy. He's so evil. I think he's always so innocent evil. Come on. He has that typical evil side, evil side character in these kind of games. I played my Otome games, right? I know how this character works, come on. <laughs> Look at this thing, he's gonna be like, I, I give up. Here we go. Here we go, it's like, yeah, kind? Oh, I'll tell you about kindness, bitch, here we go. Ah, you really were evil? Here we go, yeah, he's gonna be like, shit. He's an act. Yeah, it's like, pff, I hate this shit. Here we go, I don't wanna be, I'm not a good guy, I'm pure evil. Yeah, you all, you idiots. <laughs> and it's like, immediately, it's like, I took her, and it was fun. Yeah, I killed her, it was the best day in my life. Oh, here we go, so I direct him. Completely got his face here. You have the same black energy. <laughs> he looks really evil. He has the same black energy, he's got massive black energy around him. He's like, oh, that is really nice. Yeah, the, the light and the darkness. Yeah, like, she's light, he's dark, is right. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're gonna fight. Yeah. I was just so, he's so simply with him. He's like, so calm. Yeah, I did it. And it was fun. I think her plan is like, oh, I'm just gonna confront him and die. Whoa. This is the spell is power again, which is light negation. Yeah, she's immune to it maybe because of her light. But she doesn't be able to fight with her magic. She's like, I can just deflect your magic. Oh, here we go. She's gonna kidnap her or something or kill her. Yeah, it's like a sleepy magic. But I like, but he's like, she can deflect his magic, but she couldn't really, like, you know, it wasn't like she actually managed to, uh, yeah, fight him. She can, like, light beam him. Oh, here we go. It's gonna show his real evil face to Katarina now. Here we go, I hate you! Here we go, you're your horse! Stealing my harm all the time! Harm stealer, yeah, he's like, I should be me! Me having five girlfriends! That's clearly what he hates her for. I think it makes probably more sense in the original game if he hates Maria with the Light Magician. <laughs> but I think it was not harm. He's like, God damn it, I should have married these five girls. You stop stealing my harm. Oh, she, she's going for the seduce attack. This is straight up Katarina. It's like, oh, if I seduce him, yeah, if I, if I seduce his evil sense. So here we go. I can make him cry. I can, you know, I can befriend him. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's like, get off me. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> I really feel like she's like, you know, he's automatic. Katarina's like, oh, join my horror. I'm like, no, <laughs> God damn it. Get off me. <laughs> it's like, no, stop trying to make everyone be into damn horror. It's like, God damn it. I think we all know though, in the end, she is gonna seduce this guy. She's gonna smash this guy in the end though. We all, I think we all know though, in the end, she's gonna be able to seduce him though. I mean, if we see Katarina act, she's like, ooh, sexy attack. Yeah, like, immediately, it's like, ah, right, maybe I can seduce him. It's like, <laughs> I think we all know, honestly, that's how it's gonna end up with her. Like, mm, maybe if I, if I charm him with my powers. <laughs> see, I keep saying it, but if there's anyone that actually has a dark magic power, it's clearly Katarina. She keeps stealing Evan's heart, right? She clearly has true dark magic. 
That's what he hates her. He, he's, a, he's a strong drop magician. Yeah, that's the truth of it. That would be kind of fun if you explain it later on. It's like, she actually wasn't an Earth Magician. She actually has hidden, dark, hybrid Earth Magician. <laughs> anyway, let's review the episode. I think it's after you here. Yeah, let's review the episode. And this, to me, clearly the best scene, right? We have the lightness and we have the darkness. And my hair is so... Light and the darkness and doing this shit, right? And I think that was a great scene, right? Yeah. It's a great scene. And I can finally now say then that he's the evil one. Damn president, Kai Shaw. Uh, and I like, you know, um, so I want to say this thing, right, because, as you know, most, I think you know it, yeah, you're here now, most and the reaction I do, right, I do the blind, right, for example, like Clover or, you know, Bali Sampai, whatever, I do, kind of super and so on. I do them blind, right? But this is one of the few animes where I actually have read the whole, the whole source, right? Um, so, um, last time we talked about the darkness thing, episode 6 or so, I think mainly, I... I didn't want to spoil, of course, so I kept it. I hope I didn't spoil this. I mean, I didn't say that much. I don't think I spoiled. Um, so, but I want to give you a little bit of feedback here. I don't know. Give me, give me, you know, leave a comment below what you think. Um, I felt he was obviously the bad guy. And this is what I might say, obviously. But I think so, in my opinion. Because let me give you some, uh, you know, I, I, give me some points, right? So, first of all, from a narrational standpoint, we only have these number of characters. I think that's like the biggest issue, or you know, that's not the issue, but the biggest hint, okay, hint. Because either the Dark Magician would be someone that we already have in the harem, like Giorgio, or Alan, or, you know, Keith. Either it would be someone like that, right, would betray them and actually be the evil one. That would be, that would be one of them. Uh, but like Keith, you see the Earth Magician, so it would make sense. Um, so who are we left with, basically, right? Because no other, basically, in this anime, and I mean, I love this anime, right? But to its, I guess, detriment for this come to, come to reveal, but it's like a nitpick thing. There aren't that many cats, right? We have Anne, I guess, the maid, yeah. They're not that, the mom. <laughs> they could be her mom, yeah. They don't have that many other characters, I would argue for, right? That are, have any kind of screen time, except, of course, these, you know, the, the horrible characters. So we have the horrible characters, right? We have Maria, Mary, and so on, and Asha. Uh, and so on, right? Or you know, Sophia. You have those characters. So who else would it be, right? He's the only character in the horror, basically. It's like, so, yeah, he's him. I think that's, the, the, for me, uh, so when I read it the first time, I was, like, thinking immediately, oh, it's gonna be the principal. Because he's the only character left, not in the horror. Like, that's my immediate, when I read it, I was like, this is the guy who's gonna be in darkness. Uh, I think so, just from that alone. Uh, and, and I think it's, like, a big hint, because it's like, who else would it be? Unless... Because, look at this, would the writing be better if it was only this guy, okay? Look at this, look, think of that right. Would the writing be better if it was only, no, sorry, if it was not a guy. Like, completely unrelated character. Right? Suddenly a new character appears from the side, and it's like, I wanna F them all, so I, I, you know, I salute this girl, I wanna make this, like, slave sex, whore, whatever. But whatever, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Right? That would be that would be way we was writing. If it was like a new character jumping in from the side, it actually is me, you know, this your lost long evil twin brother of yeah, like that would be way worse. So what we're left with is taking that it has to be the guy that has screen time. He is in a lot of episodes, doesn't have that much actual dialogue, but he's dear. And he's also, for that matter, in the same, you know, council as of course Maria. So he talks to Maria a lot. And she's the light user, right? So it also is fitting that he's like her betrayer, right? And the dark user. So I think it's like from the hinting of the actual premise, he has to be the bad guy. Uh, and then I think he's always has weird... He's like this weird cat that also gives her hint to. He's always like, oh, Katarina. He's, he's always kind of aggressive to her. I think he's like a very, you know... He's, I, you, I think he's written as... You, you always feel he's like he, hiding his hate for her. In my opinion. I think every, every scene he has... It's always like, hmm, so you like that? Mm -hmm. like, I would say so. So anyway, I, I think it was pretty obvious when I read it the first time. I must say it's like a big thing, but I think I just think that I, I figured it out way earlier than when we got to this part of the, when I read it. And I think, so yeah, again, leave a comment below. What, what do you think about it? When you were watching the anime, for you, anime only, did you figure it out as big? I think most people did. I think most people probably uh, reading comments and so on. I was like, yeah, this guy seems suspicious, right? And also for that matter, Given that you play Utopia games or other, you know, Ero Gay or whatever, Horum games, right? You can almost usually smash almost every character, right? <laughs> if you play these, these Horum games, again, for example, I'm talking about I played Persona 5, you know, I beat yesterday, so it's fresh in my mind, right? In this game, you can smash every damn character, right? Basically, yeah. Every character 
that is you can basically you know confident every damn almost every character that has a voice line and is just like a random you know nobody on the street you can basically get a content with them if you aren't like that or i guess part of their story like you like you you do with this um for example you date this uh like you know the senpai okay you date senpai well i spoil spoiler game so you, you date senpai and if you date senpai she's gonna befriend this other other girl that's like a hostess girl being tricked into be maybe being like a stripper or maybe like a AV star forced into that kind of thing, like you know, kind of like that. And she's trying to help her for not you know going that you know route of being um, like some kind of porn star, something like that. Yeah, basically, I want to spoil a little bit of that. So that girl has a voice line. Now. That girl has a voice line. Has a face. She talks to you, but that girl is clearly a part of you know your uh, senpai's uh, love story, right? So it's part of that. Every other girl. Basically, in that game, but isn't the part of another girl story? Is a dateable girl, right? And it includes both milfs and you know so on. Yeah, it includes every female character almost, more or less. <laughs> like all of them, more or less, right? Almost every damn character. So that's usually how it is, right? So I think from that aspect too, playing a lot of these games, playing a lot of Tobin games, I do think that when I play this game, I would I would probably you know expect the president, the redhead, cute boy, to also be. Someone I can have sex with, right? Probably that would be kind of in my head. I'd be like, if I play the game, I'd be like, yeah, I can probably do this guy too. He's pretty cute. That would be in my head. So I think that's um, a big reason why too. Like she mentioned different routes, right, and the flag system. So I used to think like, yeah, he's he has to be a secret route for this kind of games because that's how the game works. So probably like a premise. But anyway, um, that's my take on it. That's my like general, you know, narration review. Of it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying uh, it's written as, as an October game, right? So it's it's kind of like, it's what it is. Right? It's kind of like how it has to be, basically, because this is how it works in this kind of game genre. Right? I'm just saying. Um, otherwise, I feel it's a little stupid. Though. I wish it was written in another way. I do wish it was written in another way, honestly. Here, I mean, I joked about it in my reaction, right? But I really wish. This was written in another way, and I, I felt the same way when I did, uh, when I watched, uh, sorry, when I read it, and um, beginning to. I'm mean, joking about it, right? But I, but yeah, like, like this scene. I mean, it feels very tropey. Yesterday, I actually watched Midsommar, the Swedish horror movie. It was really bad for that matter, but <laughs> it was really bad. And that movie, and I honestly, spoilers, I don't care. But no, that movie had the exact same scene where they like, they expect people that this cult, it's like a Swedish cult, right? And they are probably killing people and then a girl is like oh do you want to talk to one of the random guys do you want to come with me alone behind this shed and you're like oh he's gonna die <laughs> you know and you're like don't say yes man he's like oh yeah girl and he you no know, he, he's dead right? so it's like it's like that kind of scene you're like man why is he going alone and you sit there you watch the, the movie and you're like don't go alone don't go alone don't leave your four friends if you go alone with one some cultless girl is gonna kill you it's so clear she's gonna kill you right that's kind of like here too, yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, she's running into the darkness alone. She's gonna clearly lose. <laughs> it's like, so I don't know. I feel this is probably, I have to say it right because I'm, I love, you know, I really love this anime. I love this anime, but I feel that this team to me and the same original source is a weak part of the writing because it's incredibly tropey. It's like, oh, I spot the demon over there. I'm gonna run it alone and hopefully don't die from it. Instead of telling my friends that. Uh, it's like a demon guy, darkness, some kind of like demonic power, darkness power or something. I uh, probably should tell my friends. And as I mentioned, right, during the reaction, remember, all her friends have powers too. Yes, Katarina is pretty bad with the power, she can fight a sword snake though. But I mean, they're pretty bad, you know, she's bad, but the kid is powerful and so on. So, and they were all the princess, they have like royal bloodline. So they're all pretty powerful, at least to some extent, right? So you, so you would believe that I can bring my friends that all can fight to a certain extent, right? And even though, I mean, Katarina, she can have sword fight, right? She's actually, actually a physically trained person because of her whole, you know, paranoia to die, right? So, and she also works in the forest. So actually, Kata and, you know, Monkey Soul. So Katarina is actually physically very strong, right? Probably the strongest physical character in the whole school, right? It's Katarina, right? Like, I'm not even joking. Katarina is probably the most physically fit person, right? At the whole, like, probably very likely. Probably a lot stronger than Opelia. Uh, you know, super fit, right? And that's the more like, you know, weak, noble kids, since it's like the only one that's like, gonna get stronger, yeah. So, not bringing Anna with her, I mean, it makes sense from the whole, I don't wanna, you know, endanger my best friends and my girl that I love and so on. I wanna, you know, I love this woman, I wanna protect her. So it makes sense, right? But at the same time, though, it's like, you're running into this, I'm gonna fight this, like, something, something, darkness alone. It's just like, 
is so tropey. So I, I really wish it was written better. I think this is a, probably, in my opinion, and you know, in my head, but I, I say, in my opinion, I think this is probably the worst writing of the whole storyline. The whole Hamafura storyline, I think this is the weakest part of the whole storyline. Uh, and it's nitpicky, but I used to think it's incredibly tropey that Maria, uh, and I like the build up is that Maria is the only one who can see him, right? His powers. So that's been built up for several episodes here, or several chapters, whatever, right? She's been built up for that. And then she still goes into this super random, oh, I'm gonna just run into him, right? And it, it feels stupid because she's been spotting this thing. So I, so I have to say, I don't think it's nitpicky because this has been an issue, in my opinion, for several weeks now, right? She, she's been seeing this evil dark magic and she hasn't told anyone about it. She has, like, she's spotted this thing and she hasn't like, told, like, Katarina, see, this, this dark magic follows you. Like, why hasn't you warned her or written a note, you know, like, if someone happens to me, it was a dark magic because I've seen dark magic tracking you, so I, I'm gonna try to remove it, but if I die, you know, Katarina, this thing's after you, right? So, something like that. It just feels kind of silly to me that Marie has been knowing about this for weeks. She, she knew about this thing for a while, actually. Not used for this episode, right? For actually for several weeks now in this world. A month, so I don't know, but for a while at least, like a month or two or something like that in this world, right? And she hasn't told anyone about it. So I think that is a very big wit actually in the storyline. And that she's this like doing this super tropey mistake and horror, right? But I, I you know, yeah, I digress, but I think that is true. Um, but otherwise, I think it's nice finally seeing him, right? We're gonna have his darkness backstory probably next week, his motivation, right? Why he hates her. Um, and, uh, and so on, right? And I think one of the other parts I love this episode, which I really love, is of course the confession. Yeah, this was amazing. Um, don't get me wrong, the episode wasn't bad. I'm just saying that that is the weakest part of my thing. But otherwise, this was the best part of the whole episode. Uh, <laughs> this is the best part of the whole episode. This, this is one of the funniest parts of the whole anime. I think. This is like, <laughs> yeah. So don't get me wrong, this is like the episode. This I think is one of the funniest parts of the whole, of the whole anime. Where you're like, she's too stupid. The Bakarina defense. She, she couldn't do this. This Baka? She's an idiot. Yeah, that's right. I love her, but she's really dumb. <laughs> like, she can't do shit like this. And everyone's like, she's an idiot, she's an idiot. And he's like, they're all defending me. But they're also calling me idiot. Like, Stop insulting me, you know? That's, I mean, I think this is, could be the funniest scene in the whole in the whole anime. But she's just like, they're all calling her Baccarina. They're like, Baccarina, Baccarina. She's like, stop insulting me. Like, again, you're, you're helping me, but not, not, not happy like this. Fuck you guys, yeah. <laughs> And that's what afterwards too, where they're all worried, they're reading through the notes, right? They're all like, you know, oh yes. They're all like, you know, devastated. They're reading, and Katarina's like, I did it! I fucking smacked the flag and give me some food! He's just sitting there being all happy and like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they guys are like, oh, we're gonna protect our Katarina, because she's pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, she lost it. She's just in her mind, right? So I liked that too. That was, that was really fun too. She's just insane, you know, typical Katarina, right? She's like, yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> she's mentally, you know, those. But anyway, that's the review. Probably most of my most negative review. I don't know, but I mean, the first part, he is the bad guy. I think that is just fine, right? I'm not saying it's like the bad writing. Sorry if it's could be negative. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's like, it's for the course, right? You have an Otome game, you have like a dating game, you're gonna have date these characters, you know, like, well, it's either going to be a betrayal from one of the other characters, or it's going to be, uh, you know, the other clearly dateable character, both in the dark past. So it's going to be, you know, it's something like that. Because he's like the only character left it could be. I feel, I feel that's like how it is, right? So I think that's one thing. So I don't think it's bad. It's thing is, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, the other part, though, I do start by saying that I feel that it is silly. I think it would be better if it's, it could be written, I feel, in some other way. Like maybe she would do this thing, but then Katarina goes to her like her room and finds a diary. And she's like, "Oh, look at this diary. It says that you know the darkness is after me. The darkness is after me, Katarina." And then she reads about the darkness and talks to you know her fiance. He's like, "Yeah, dark, dark magic. Oh, that would make sense. They can control, they can control people and so on." Right? And then Katarina be like, "Oh shit, uh, you know, I understand. Someone with dark magic fought Maria because she's light magic, and it makes yeah. I think that would have been a lot better if Maria had a little." continuously planned there. Yeah, and they could have been written so it could have been more or less the same story but just a little more intelligence for Maria right? I think that's just is lacking there. And I think I think that's true. I think that's true. I see that episode, don't get me wrong, I see that I love anime but saying that for me this is probably my biggest and you know I see like a ten and it's gonna be see that ten eleven sorry eleven that's an anime for me. Eleven ten but I was saying this is the moment where I feel it's like this could be written a little differently and I think it would be 
uh, even better, right? Um, so I, well, I, I agree. I agree. So I'm just gonna rant now. But no, but I think it's like true. Right? I think it's true. And um, anyway, see you guys tomorrow with Gleipner. So I haven't seen Gleipner uh, for the last two weeks, right? So I'm gonna do a triple episode Gleipner tomorrow. So sorry for that. Uh, probably do the full reaction on Twitch, and then we do that version probably for that on on YouTube, something like that. So anyway, see you guys, and have a great day.